Okay, we are coming down to the end of today's group of lectures. All right, so we had reached a point where we were talking about that Golgi, and we said, what is it going to do? It's going to package up materials in transport vesicles and that are going to go bubble, bubble, bubble across to the cell membrane and secrete that material to the outside. There are two other options, two other things that can happen as well. Now, we have two more types of organelles that stay in the cell that are made by the Golgi and, and the rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And they are um, lysosomes. We'll talk about the lysosomes first. So a lysosome consists of a, a, about 30 different digestive enzymes that are packaged up in a vesicle. But it doesn't leave the cell, it stays. Now, what is it for? We're going to talk about that amoeba again, and, you can, and also the white blood cell. So when an amoeba or a white blood cell, we said it's like a beagle chasing a rabbit, when it catches the rabbit, well, we'll just say, when the cell catches a bacterium and it brings it in, we said it, it would kill it, right? Well, how do you kill it? Lysosomes. Lysosomes, so you've got this, you know, you got a hold of them in a vesicle because that's the way that that process works. It gets engulfed and pulled in in a vesicle. That's an, a form of endocytosis. And, you know, I can almost in my mind see it squirming around in there. And then, so you got that thing crawling around in there, and then here comes the digestive enzymes, the lysosome. It joins up with it, and it digests it. Poor little critter. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's there to digest that. So, so when we talk about white blood cells or amoebas, the lysosome is going to uh, perform that function. They're also there, um, they perform a very important developmental function. So you may have seen a fetus or a, a very young embryo growing, and they don't, they're not born with hands. They, they have what you call a limb bud, and it's like a club. Instead of having a hand, you got a club, and somehow you form a, a hand. Well, what happens is some of those cells the ones, you know, there and there and there, they die. They commit suicide. Lysosomes are known as suicide sacs also. Look, Mom, I've got fingers. You kill the cells in between. They commit suicide. You didn't kill them. That The cells themselves developmentally um, commit suicide, and you form fingers. That's one of the ways this is done. Another, so that's why they call lysosome suicide sacs. Another, when a cell is messed up, says, I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's, you know, mutated or whatever. Instead of, you know, for the good of the, the rest of you, it commits suicide. And so when there is, when a cell becomes defective, it can commit suicide through the use of autolysis by lysosomes. Let me make sure I don't have anything else to say about those. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Okay, now we have another, uh, the final thing we're going to talk about is something called a peroxisome, and it contains, um, um, it, it, it contains enzymes that break down highly reactive substances. Um, and so, what are some reactive substances? Something like um, hydrogen peroxides. They're very reactive. That's why you put it on a cut, uh, is to kill anything that's there. Um, so in, in cells that are like in your liver that are involved in dealing with foreign chemicals that your body doesn't know what else to do with, so when they say, we don't know what it is, send it to the liver, those cells have um, per peroxisomes, which are there to try and deal with an unknown 
biochemical or toxin or, or, um, or highly reactive entity. So they are there uh, in only certain kinds of cells. And ah, look at that. I've reached a point where I'm going to stop and um, we'll, we've done about half of this section. Next time we'll do the second half of these slides and we'll pick up a little bit of um, tissues. We only do a, a few slides dealing with tissues. And then we'll have, so that'll be like the Monday lecture. And then the Wednesday lecture of next week will deal with gene expression. And then we have a test schedule. So just sort of keep that in mind. Um, it's not that far into the future. All right, guys. We're back to the old normal. See ya.